In order to make it uh, successful internationally, I think that, that becomes a challenge. Uh, it's, it's not as easy to reach as other major coastal cities. So that would be one of the first priorities to, to address. Um, if it comes to the program itself, what uh, would make uh, Jinglandao more attractive, we think a rich variety of uh, new elements that are currently not available, such as uh, um, many city attractions, uh, coastal attractions uh, that could relate to the water. It could be also museums, uh, harbor museum to build uh, on the infrastructural heritage, but also uh, newer programs such as uh, uh, concert halls uh, and other special venues. I think one of the um, uh, key things is to properly assess the situation, try to it's not a short-term solution. This is a development over years and we've also thought about phasing it out. It needs to gradually grow. Uh, and what's very important is to address the city, to grow out of the city. It's not, uh, it shouldn't be something on its own, but it should be a continuation. I think there are very valuable elements in the master plan. The historic city, or the historic, which we call it uh, historic city, it's the industrial heritage which will be ever present in the new master plan. So the rail tracks, the uh, glass factory, I think the uh, current museum, they're all valuable and the key elements for the master plan. So to continue my earlier point, I think uh, a lot of our uh, key uh, focus uh, areas were around uh, the actual uh, the coastal part and to add a lot more attractions to it. We want to make that a very vibrant place to get, irrigate the coastline, use this uh, term, and bring more people uh, to experience the water. You want, if you want to experience it as a, a promenade, for example, a marina and so on, that opportunity is currently not there established. And we think this could be an addition to the already um, existing coastline. Um, we, we did look at the wider part of Tinghandao while uh, uh, researching about uh, um, about the project and um, we think there's uh, more to be done in addition to the West Harbor. There are, there's currently a separation between the city and the sea of, of about 10 kilometers which is being uh, used by industrial sites. So while that uh, industry clears out from the city uh, coastline then there's a potential to, for uh, regeneration and transforming that back into uh, pleasant community space. Yeah. And I think also the site itself, the West Harbor, that's uh, offering a lot of uh, uh, amenities for the current city. So it um, helps uh, the local communities. It also keeps some of the uh, or the the communities that are that are on site at the moment. And uh, those functions like uh, the the central market that is uh, for the whole uh, community. There's the health district which we also talked in the, our presentations, which addresses uh, the, the city needs and also a sports area or sports district as well. So those are nodes, dense, dense uh, key elements that will help uh, regenerate the entire city. There's two questions in this, so yes. reusing the heritage I think comes in first. It's obviously the element that also uh, keep, gives the character of the city. This is what makes it, uh, what sets it apart from other locations. Uh, I th and I think it's important to respect also people's traditions and uh, be a reminder of uh, who they were and what they were doing. But at the same time, uh, if you talk about sustainability, I think that is uh, part of the building blocks of our philosophy. I think most of our uh, ideas go into that. It's uh, a city um, is, is really driven by its outdoor space and so on. Everyone has to have the ability to enjoy the public space and that, that makes a city special. Um, we've uh, we've looked into all components of sustainability. It's uh, the most obvious one being nature and how to introduce more nature, more parks, uh, more more outdoor area, more quality spaces. That that would be probably the first recognizable. But there's also many systems that are hidden, such as uh, strategies on uh, uh, water economy, but also energy production. All of those are elements which we try to incorporate in master planning. So they're all. Uh, working as a mechanism almost. It needs to um, perform very well as a city. It's uh, what's very important and what people rarely talk about these days also flexibility uh, of, of these master plans. They need to allow for enough uh, 
choice for the developers. When the developers come in on board, they need to be able to make the most out of that site. And I think um, also, lastly, um, we, we've been... Um, well, maybe you want to tell about the... Um, I would say the future proofing. We have to think about it for a long period of time. The city is there forever. The city is going to last for generations. It's, uh, it's not an immediate fix. It's something to, to bear in mind, especially when we talk about large master plan scale.